welcome to the first episode of the Brew Review Crew. I'm Ron. And I'm Corey. The Brew Review Crew, double hundred. Uranus is there waiting to be discovered, and I'm ready to to really get into Uranus here. Yeah, so is this the end of the Brew Review crew as we know it? Yes. Have, yes. have the cows come home to pasture? <laughs> I think. Has the fat lady sung? I, sang? 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 Sung? Swung? Swang? I, I think. Have we reached the end of the road? Guys, I think. Has we... the sun set on the BRC? <laughs> yes. Glub, 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 glub. I, I think what's going on here is we're going through a little bit of growing pains. We're going through some some puberty, if you will. Some midlife crises. <laughs> midlife crises. And we are changing everything up. We are going to no longer just do straight up reviews. Why? Because everyone does straight up reviews. I mean, think about it. If you want to find out what a beer tastes like, you can go on Rape Beer. You can go on Beer Advocate. You can go to Chris at Beer Geek Nation. You can go to our friends over at Trouble Brewing and look at Keith. There's a million people who do this, and it didn't really make sense. Yeah, you know, we've been doing beer reviews for, we're coming up on five years next month, which is crazy, crazy that we have been crazy. doing this for five years. And we have been tumblring and wordpressing and youtubing and podcasting all up and down yeah the beer landscape we've had a tremendous amount of beers and we are the brew review crew and at our core we love trying new beer and reviewing them for our own personal pleasure and to bring those reviews to you guys yeah. but at the same time we have sort of grown um into additional avenues, diff different things that we're interested in. Yeah, I mean, we've been doing uh, the podcast, which is mostly beer news. Uh, I mean, I'm about to start my own brewery, which is pretty sweet. And it's really just come to the point where we're trying to think of what's best for our viewers and what's more unique for us. I mean, like I said, everyone can do a beer review. Everyone can tell you what a beer tastes like, smells like, looks like. That might not be all that interesting. And I think if you look at our, our subscribers versus our view count, I think you guys agree that's just not that interesting, especially with a beer. Like, if you're not looking out for a specific beer that we have, you're not going to be wanting to find that review. Right. But if we're talking about a topic and you happen to see a beer that'll get more exposure for that beer to people like you, and maybe you'll go search that one out that you wouldn't have before because you listen to the topic as well as the beer review. We do know that we do have people who watch the Brew Review Crew, because you just like the way that we do our reviews and you watch and you comment and we love everybody who watches our videos for whatever reason, we think yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. So we're not going to stop reviewing beer. Right. We're we just gonna we're beer. just gonna change the way we deliver that content to you guys. And so what we're gonna be doing now on the Brew Review Crew YouTube channel yeah. is we're gonna select basically one topic of interest one yeah. happening you know current event in yeah. the beer world talk about it just between Corey and i invite you guys to join us in that conversation yeah whilst we enjoy <laughs> good, good word a new beer yeah so we are going to be reviewing beer in the context of a of a deeper conversation yeah if you noticed i've been taking sips of this uh this cream ale clear this sky clear sky daybreak Day from wolf's ridge down in columbus i've been taking sips because i can do that now i don't have to wait 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 we have to get to the the mouthfeel section next you know it's more casual more laid back and midway through we're just going to stop and give you a quick pointers what we're tasting what we're smelling no one needs five minutes of in-depth review when you can have 30 seconds to get you the same thing. And then at the very end, we're still gonna give you our scores. That's that's half the fun. We're just gonna take a, a swing at this new format and we wanna yeah. know what you think about this. Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think that we maybe are going too far off the deep end? We should stick to our roots. We kinda are curious on what our viewers sort of think about this, this shift. Well, and I wanna just kinda do a little tease for you here. Some of the things we're talking about coming up is uh, does, does Bell's Too Hearted deserve to be number one? In the, in the beer world like it was just ranked. We're gonna talk about a beer that uh, has gotten a lot of women drinkers in a, you know, in a big tussy, if you will. They're not very happy about this one. I will. And <laughs> you will, I know you will. And we're gonna talk about 
did craft beer already lose the beer battle? Right. And so we do want to point out that we're going to have episodes every single week, yes. every Friday of the month, every single one of them. So right. four episodes a month and two podcasts a month. So we're coming at you with all kinds of content, fresh off the press. <laughs> fresh off the tube, the YouTube, if you will. I will. There's no more presses. Who presses things? Uh, so at some point, we're going to get into a review, and so we're just going to cut it to this right now. Ron, I know you haven't really gotten too much into this beer, but let's uh, tell us what you smell. Tell us what you taste. Give us some notes here. Right off the bat, it really it's a it's a coffee cream ale, and it definitely has the best of all those worlds. It's very light, very drinkable. You can tell we're sweating because it's 100 degrees out, and this is very thirst quenching, which I'm loving right now. Uh, great coffee kick to the background, but not like overpowering. Yeah, uh, this is a very nice example of a really drinkable uh, cream ale. This has a, a really nice coffee, like you said, this coffee sense to it on the aroma, but definitely on the palate. It's extremely refreshing. It's kind of reminding me of sort of like an iced coffee mm -hmm. or like a but, cold brew. But even lighter. I mean, like super light, but that coffee flavor is the main component, the main star here. There is a little bit of almost like a diacetyl. Do you kind of get that in the background or like some kind of butteriness, butteriness to it, yeah. which I think is it kind of works, but it I think that's the coffee. I think that's the coffee. Okay. Uh, I think it's just, I think that's the bitterness of the coffee sort of coming off as sort of this weird sort of like, I don't know if it's acidic or, or but like sort of like that, yeah, that sort yeah. of uh, buttery sort of context. Yeah. I think it's pretty dang good. Nice and refreshing. Um, you know, nothing mind blowing, but certainly inviting on a hot day. Yeah. And we'll give you that score for this beer. In just a minute. But Ron, I want to get back to kind of the topic of our change. What was the main driving point for you to be like, hey, I think we need to kind of switch gears a little bit? Well, I mean, I think just to echo what you've said, we've got, you know, really close, I think close to 2,000 subscribers at this point. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, we look at the views and you just see that it's just not adding up. And I've, I've read a bunch of articles and you're only going to get X amount of percent of your subscribers, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But what, what it says to me is, unless it's this big whale of a beer, KBS, yeah. uh, you know, BCBS, the general population wants those big, big beers. Right. And we do a lot of sort of Midwestern, because that's yeah, kind of our market. And so it makes sense that someone in California is probably not searching for, you know, some Roy Pitts, you know, right, you, know, right, right. you know, whatever that, whatever hey, that was hey, from. He looked pretty good. Though. He did look real he good. He looked pretty good. And so for me, it, you know, and not taking it personally at all, it's just, it's sort of like YouTube uh, capitalism. Yeah. You know, the, yeah. the viewers have Supply spoken. Supply and demand. Right. We clearly, we, we, <laughs> by look oversupplying <laughs> something that's not in demand. That's right. So that's we, I just felt like it was time to, to shake things up a bit. And, yeah. and if you look at, like you were talking about the top hits on our channel, the ones that are actually at the very top are things that aren't even beer reviews. It's our light beer showdown Saturday night special. Uh, it's our our conversation with Chris from the Beer Temple, which was so much fun. It's more of these informative things. So I think that's going to be a fun avenue for a lot of people. That was the word I was looking for earlier. Avenue. Informative avenue. An informative avenue for you guys to be able to come enjoy our videos, engage in our conversations, and and you know kind of give you a little bit more content that's valuable to you. I think you guys are going to love what we're going to bring you. I think you're going to find those topics interesting and exciting and enticing and invigorating and revigorating and all those other aiding words, <laughs> agitating. We invite you to stick around. Join us on this new journey. Corey, what are you giving this coffee cream ale? This is going to get about a 92 for me. Uh, you know, a cream ale is not going to blow you away in any good, any big way, but this is very clean very refreshing i think the coffee works perfectly in it and i just i'm really enjoying this i'm sweating but this is so refreshing and i think it's the perfect beer for a day like this yeah i'm gonna go right there with you i think i think i'm gonna join you on that 92 for all the reasons you've stated very refreshing i love that coffee kick to it 
And I got to give a big shout out to Chris who gave me this from Wolf's Ridge. He said, here's the six pack, here's this bomber. Take them, enjoy them, and just pay it forward. So Chris, thank you so much. Uh, if you like what we're doing, guys, uh, comment in the comment section below. And if you want to kind of ask us a question, something that you want us to talk about on the show, also put that down below. And we want this to be a lot more customer interaction. Uh, so with that in mind, always remember, we are the Brewview Crew. And we'll review a brew for you. Cheers. Cheers. So guys, one way that we were able to do this whole new setup is that you went to Amazon and gave us some money in order to, you know, buy these cool things like the triple camera trick. I'm really digging this. I like looking over here, looking over here. It, it's so much more fun and so much more production value is added because of you. So if you want to keep that up, please go to brewreviewcrew.com backslash Amazon forward slash forward slash Amazon and do your regular Amazon shopping through us. Cheers. See ya.